Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about limits. When we say limit of a function, it is the fundamental concept in calculus and analysis concerning the behavior of a function near a particular point. Sometimes, we can't work out directly, but we can see what it should be as we get closer and closer. So example here is we have uh, x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. So let's try, okay, or let's work out it for x equals 1. Okay, when x equals 1, let's try uh, to plug in x equals 1. So we have 1 squared minus 1 over 1 minus 1. So we have 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 over 0. Now, 0 over 0 is a difficulty. We don't really know the value of 0 over 0 because it is indeterminate. So we need another way of answering this. So instead of trying to work it out for x equals 1, let's try uh, approaching it closer and closer example continued we have the value of x and function x is squared minus 1 over x minus 1 so for the value of x we have 0 0.5 and for the value on the right side or in the right column we have 1.5 0 0 0 0 if x equals 0 0.9 we have 1.9 if x equals 0 0.99, one point, we have 1.99000. If x equals 0 0.99991.99900, and so on and so forth, until we came up to 0 0.999999, so approaching to 1. Then the value of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1, we have 1.99999. So now we see that as x gets close to 1 then the value of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 gets close to 2 so we are now faced with an interesting situation so when x equals 1 we don't know the answer okay because if you try to uh, substitute directly the value as the value of x equals 1 uh, it is indeterminate so but we can see that it is going to be 2 all right on the example continued that i showed before so we want to give the answer to but it can't so instead mathematicians say exactly what is going on by using the special word limit so the limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 is 2 and it is written in symbol as and okay so we want it is written in symbol as we have limit and limit x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 is 2 okay so it is a special way of saying, ignoring what happens when we get there. But as we get closer and closer, the answer gets closer and closer to 2. Okay. Okay. As a graph, it looks like this. Okay. So in truth, we cannot say what the value at x equals 1 is. But we can say that as we approach 1, the limit is 2 but instead of saying a limit equals some value because uh, it looked like it was going to so we can have a more formal definition so let's start with a general idea okay let's say it in English first so f of x uh, gets close to some limit as x get close to some value so when we call the limit L all right and the value that x gets close to a we can say f of x gets close to l as x gets close to a 
okay or this in mathematics okay? Mathema uh, in mathematical way mathematical symbol so now what is a mathematical way of saying close could we subtract one value from the other so example number one uh, 4.01 minus 4 equals 0 0.01. And example number 2, 3.8 minus 4 equals negative 0 0.2. Hmm. Negatively close. So that doesn't work. We really need to say I don't care about positive or negative. So I just want to know how far. So which is the absolute value. So get the absolute value to know how close from A to B, so we get out, uh, get the absolute value of the difference of A minus B. So, how close? How close is absolute value of A minus B? So, this one, okay, is checked, but this one, but this one is x all right because negative it doesn't work okay we don't care about positive or negative so we just want to know how far from point a to point b so get the absolute value for example number one and two so we get we get 0 0.01 and will become positive 0 0.2 okay so that's it and when absolute value of a minus b is small we know we are close so we write uh, absolute value of f of x minus l is small when the absolute value of x minus a is small so what happens with the function f of x equals x squared minus 1 over x minus 1? So f of x approaches l equals 2 as x approaches a equals 1. So the absolute value of f of x minus 2 is small when the absolute value of x minus 1 is small. Okay, but small is still English and not mathematical uh, term. So let's choose two values to be smaller than. So we have here uh, symbol delta and symbol epsilon. Okay, delta that the absolute value of x minus a uh, must be smaller than. Then epsilon that the value, the absolute value of f of x minus l must be smaller than take note uh, those two greek letters this one this is delta and this is epsilon are often used for this so leading to the phrase delta epsilon and we have the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon when the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta Okay, that actually says it so if you understand that you understand limits but to be absolutely uh, precise we need to add uh, these conditions so number one it is true for any epsilon is greater than zero number two delta exists and is greater than zero three x not equal to a means zero is less than the absolute value of x minus a and this is what we get uh, for any epsilon is greater than zero there is a delta greater than zero so that the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon when zero is less than uh, when absolute value of x minus a is greater than zero but less than delta so that is the formal definition and it actually looks pretty scary doesn't it but in essence it it still says something simple so when x gets close to a then f of x gets close to l
So how to use uh, it in a proof? To use this definition in a proof, we want to go uh, from, so from uh, absolute value of x minus a is greater than 0 but less than delta to uh, absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. So this usually means finding a formula for epsilon in terms of, uh, sorry, this usually means finding a formula for delta rather in terms of epsilon that works. So how do we find such a formula? Guess and test. That's right. We can play around till we find a formula that might more might work. Test to see if that formula works. Example, let's try to show that the limit of 2x plus 4 as x approaches 3 is 10. So using the letters we talk about above, okay, the value that x approaches, okay, it, which is a, is 3. Okay, again, the value that x approaches, okay, that is a, that is 3. Okay, the limit L is 10. So we want to know how do we go from the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 0 but less than delta to the absolute value of 2x plus 4 minus 10 is less than epsilon. So play around till you find the formula that might work. So let's start with the absolute value of 2x plus 4 minus 10 is less than epsilon. So try to simplify. We have 2x minus 6 is less than epsilon. Now move 2 outside. Okay. I'll factor out 2. So 2x minus 3 is less than epsilon. Now move 2 across. So or multiply uh, multiply both sides by one half. So we have absolute value of x minus three is less than epsilon over two. So we can now guess that that delta is equal to epsilon over two might work. So step two test to see if that formula works so we can get from uh, absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 0 but less than delta to the absolute value of 2x plus 4 minus 10 is less than epsilon so let's let's see start with uh, the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 0 but less than delta okay replace delta so we know we know that, that delta before is uh, equal to epsilon over 2, right? So we have to replace that. 0, okay. So epsilon over 2. So now multiply both sides by, by 2, all right? So multiply both sides by 2, so we get 0, then... Uh, 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 0 but less than epsilon. Okay, so replace uh, negative 6 with uh, plus 4 minus 10. So we have 0, okay, 0, that 1. So absolute value of quantity 2x plus 4 minus 10 less than epsilon all right so again what we did replace negative 6 with plus 4 minus 10 so the same thing then if we have negative 6 here so that is equal to plus 4 minus 10 so yes we can go from yes we can go from absolute value of x minus 3 is greater than 0 but less than delta to the absolute value of 2x plus 4 minus 10 is less than epsilon. Okay, by choosing uh, 
delta is equal to epsilon over 2. And we are now done. And we have proved that the limit of that the limit of 2x plus 4 as x approaches 3 is 10. Okay. So conclusion that that was a fairly simple proof, but it hopefully explain explains the strange there is a, a wording and it does show you a good way of approaching these kinds of this kind of proofs.